Hey guys, I'm Claire Aiken, the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I wanna to talk about propagating your fiddly fig. It is so easy. I know a lot of you get intimidated and haven't tried this yet, but I wanna encourage you to try it today and I will give you some easy steps and a challenge to try three different fiddly fig propagations today. So the first thing about propagation is to understand that it's really easy and you almost can't go wrong. So what propagation is, is it's basically cloning your plants. You take one plant and you create another plant out of it. It's a natural process because in the wild, as these plants get branches broken or maybe an animal you know, bites into their branch and falls to the ground, they can regrow new plants just from the leaves and the stem. So it's just really incredible. So what we're doing indoors to propagate our plant with stem cuttings is we're basically just taking a cutting of our plant putting it in water and rooting hormone until it sprouts some new roots and then we're repotting it. And so you have a mother plant and another little baby plant. This is really fun for you know expanding your collection or maybe gifting your baby plants to friends and family. So the reason I say you can't go wrong is even if your propagation cuttings fail is not gonna harm your mother plant. These plants actually enjoy being propagated. So when you take a stem cutting, it can encourage more growth, whether it is encouraging branching of that cutting, which happens about half the time, or just encouraging more growth on that stem. So it's a lot like roses. If you've ever grown roses, you have to cut the flowers to get them to bloom. And so doing a whole vase of cut roses is actually helping your roses outdoors to bloom more. So you never have to feel guilty about it. The same thing is true for propagation of your fiddles. They like to be propagated and so you don't need to worry about failing. Even if your cuttings fail, you just throw them away and start over. So one of the tricks to propagation is you're gonna wanna use a really sharp implement. We make these houseplant pruning shears that are super, super sharp. The reason that this matters is so that they don't crush the stem. You wanna keep the stem completely healthy, but really cut through it sharply. And you wanna cut at a 45 degree angle because what we need is the largest amount of surface area of your cutting to come in contact with that root hormone so that it can put out new roots. So use a super sharp sterilized implement, make your cut at 45 degrees, and then put it into rooting hormone. So I think the most common question I get about propagation is where to cut. The answer I will give you is you want one, two, or three leaves. So so you wanna cut a stem that has one, two, or three leaves. You wouldn't wanna cut halfway down a branch of your plant unless that's where you wanna prune it and get it to you know, create new branches. But basically, if you're just trying to do propagation for the sake of propagating new plants, you just wanna cut about three leaves down from the end of your plant. So the most important thing when you're propagating a fiddle is you're gonna wanna use some form of rooting hormone. I think the easiest thing to use as our propagation promoter, what you do is you basically put a couple drops into your water and that will allow this rooting hormone hormone to circulate around your cutting and basically tell it to start growing roots. So it speeds up the time that it takes for your cutting to grow new roots and it actually makes your cutting put out more new roots. And so you want as many roots as possible and you want them to be about an inch long before you repot. So the rule of thumb is when you're looking at your cutting, you wanna have at least eight roots coming out and you want them each to be at least an inch long and that's the perfect time to plant your cutting into soil. And then as you put it into soil, you're gonna wanna keep it pretty moist for the first few weeks until it's growing like a normal fiddly fig and then you switch to just general fiddly fig care instruction. So when you put in the propagation promoter, the first thing that it does is it's a rooting hormone, so it tells your cutting to put out new roots. The other thing is it keeps pathogens at bay. So you're gonna keep bacteria and fungus out of the water. If you're using a different type of rooting hormone, like a powdered ones, you may need to watch your water. If it gets cloudy or if it looks like something's growing in your water, you're gonna wanna dump the water and put clean water in because any kind of bacteria or fungus can cause your cuttings to fail. So if you're using a propagation promoter or a rooting hormone, it will shorten the time to repotting your cutting. So in general, we start seeing new roots around two to three weeks. If you don't see any new roots by four weeks, you may wanna start worrying. I would basically wait eight weeks where you either give up on the whole experiment and throw away your cuttings or repot your cuttings. So it should be about eight weeks to the point that you have enough one inch long roots that you can repot your cutting. Or if nothing has happened, which happens about you know 25 to 50% of the time for whatever reasons your cuttings will fail, just throw them away and start over. It's not a big deal. Do not let failed propagation cuttings get you down. Just start over and try again. Now I have a full video on everything you would ever wanna know about propagation. I go into some more tips and tricks for troubleshooting failed cuttings. So I'll link to that video if you really wanna know more. But the reality is it's really easy to propagate fiddly figs and you just wanna start trying. So what I would do is I would get three clear containers of water. I'd get the propagation promoter and then a really sharp implement and take three cuttings. Maybe take 
two leaves off one plant, maybe one leaf and then maybe three leaves and put them in the water with some drops of the propagation promoter and then wait four weeks and see how they're doing. If you don't see any activity after four weeks, you could throw them out, but generally they will be ready to replant and they will be you know, viable plants of their own in six to eight weeks. So don't delay, just challenge yourself to give it a try today and let me know how it goes and let me know if you have any questions about the easiest propagation method ever, which is just to give it a try and get started. I hope this video was helpful. I'll link to my deeper dives into propagation below and I'll see you next time.